Today on the channel from DC Multiverse and McFarlane Toys, we got the Platinum Edition of Starfire. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another DC McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition unboxing and review. And today on the channel from McFarlane Toys and the DC Multiverse, we got Starfire, aka Blackfire. But for all your Starfire needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over 99 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And this holiday season, lots of deals over there. You might be able to get free shipping over $39. A lot of stuff going on over at Entertainment Earth. Make sure you use discount code KYLE. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I remember Starfire, of course. I think I talked about it in the original regular edition of this one. It was my daughter's favorite superhero by far. She was a big Teen Titans Go fan, like a lot of little kids in this day and age, I guess. And she loved herself some Starfire. But this time we got a little Blackfire, I believe is her name. Uh, alternate personality, dark personality, whatever you want to call it here. It is, of course, the Platinum Edition. Big window box, got the Platinum Sticker, DC Multiverse Collector's Edition. 22 points of articulation. McFarlane Toys. Todd on the couch today, doing good, doing fine? Oh, he's just settling in, settling in for another day of unboxings. Oh, it's a beautiful Saturday, isn't it? A little rainy outside. Eh, that's the way it goes, Todd. Uh, Starfire on the side, DC Rebirth. Number 11 in the line, DC Multiverse. And on the back, a little glamour shot of one Starfire in uh, cleaner times. Less black times? How about that? How about that? We're going to pull all this out of the package. There goes my dog Lemmy. The minute I start opening it, he's like, I'm in, the, I'm in the firing zone. I better get out of here. See you later. Goodbye. She does got a little flight stand in here. I'm going to pull that out, maybe. Well, there we go. See you later. Oh, that was a close one. Almost took the camera right out on that one. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. See you later. Goodbye. DC flight stand. Guess what? Seen it before. We'll see it again. We usually see him with uh, Superman a lot, uh, but occasionally a Starfire in one of those. So we do get that. So the more you know, the more you know. But how about Starfire locked up in the old plastic prison? Twist ties forever. For days, months, and years is what we got going on right here. Starting my twist tiles, twist ties, easy for me to say, pile early today is what we're doing. And then, of course, it's a very tight twist tie on her. There we go. I think we're good. I think we are good. We got her pom-poms. That's what they remind me of. We got those. Pop out the stand. Pop out the card. Pop out the figure. Long, long Starfire hair in there. There it is. See you later. Goodbye, knocking stuff over. That's the way it goes from time to time. But let's dive into this one right here. Let's see what's going on with the old uh, Blackfire, as she's known in some circles. More twist ties. See you later. All right, we got the DC collector stand. And of course, you got to have the card with it. Stick that over there. Let's see. It says, real name Corander. Corander. Okay. An alien princess in exile, Corander of Temeron, escaped a lifetime of brutality as a slave and lab rat for the Citadel. And the Pizzons. Pizzons? Sure. Years after manifesting incredible energy power, she led a revolt and escaped to Earth. An engine of righteous fury, she fights to ensure no other beings have to endure the pain and indignity. Another big word there. Look at this. Jeez. That ruined her life. Well, I can read. I can read. There you go. So you get a little of that action here. Now, we do get the pom-poms, the cosmic pom-poms, what they remind me of. Translucent purple plastic here for this. Of course, regular edition has the green ones. We'll compare the regular edition later on in this video as well. But let's dive into the old Blackfire here. Looking a little bit spooky. That's what we got going on. Altogether ooky. I'm going to go that far with her on this one here. Jet black hair looking good. Real long hair on this. All whimsical. All swept up there. Very, very nice, of course. Uh, got a very orange hot dog-esque skin tone to her. And that is on the face. A little bit purple in the lipsticks. Fiery red eyes. Oh my gosh. Sometimes my wife gives me those eyes from time to time. Always dangerous. But loving at the same time. You guys know how that goes. 
Uh, silver and black attack. She's got to be a Raiders fan. There's no way around that right there. Got a little purple emblem, little jewel there in her chest. Looking good. Two fists of orange hot dog Hulk Hogan fury right there. She's got the two fists ready to go, ready to throw down if need be. Got the suit over there. And then she's got the long boots and the long leggings. A little silver at the top, a little silver at the ankles. And that's about all she wrote as far as black fire goes right here. Arms going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. Oh, these pins suck, Todd. Let's get out of these. Let's get rid of these, huh? Uh, one of these days, hopefully. Uh, hands back and forth, side to side. Of course, hands removable. Hula hoop at the top, plus traditional waist. Big ol' Starfire splits flying through the air if need be. Leg does go up. Double jointed pin knees once again. And then you get the ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Got the high heels going on. The silver does take away uh, the ankle right there because I hate those balls in the ankles. I always talk about that. So it does look a little bit better. Still not perfect. Um, it's a little bit outdated as far as uh, looks go in the ankle department for me from the McFarlane Toys line, of course. And, of course, like most females in the McFarlane line, extremely hard to stand. You really need a stand uh, to put her on because it's going to be very difficult to get her to stand on her own. Just like her counterpart here in the more colorful version, uh, very, very cool. Definitely different looks, and I like the Platinums like this. Give alternate costumes, alternate, alternate versions of the character. Ends up working out pretty well, all things considered. So very nice between the two. I think when I close my eyes, I think of this one more often than this one. But I do like the darkness. Uh, every once in a while, the darkness pays off. Very, very cool. Two pretty good figures, all things considered. My favorite, no, but very good in the female. And you got to have it for your Teen Titans ghost shelf. There's no doubt there. So there it is. Starfire, Blackfire, riding together, riding again. What are your guys' thoughts? Pickups, passes, long games, no games, not so sure games? Let me know in the comments down below your thought on these DC Collector's Edition McFarlane Toys figures. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. We even got more content for you, of course, over there on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at PrestonTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget my book, Classic Superstars, The Complete Guide. Uh, it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and now newly released on Kindle. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for a little Starfire Blackfire, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.